What if our animals were mirrors of our belief system and personal issues? And what if we could help them by changing ourselves? Hi, this is the Outdoor Witch, animal communicator, energy healer, outdoor lover and owner of many animal friends. On my channel, I want to inspire you to cast a new light on how you perceive your animal animals and I also share advice, tools, as well as practical examples to enhance your relationship with your animals and yourself. So how can we solve behavior issues in our animals by changing ourselves? Our animals don't come by chance in our lives. They enter our lives to help us learn, grow and or heal something. And we help them the same way in return. We can have, for example, similar history, past wounds or similar needs. Have you ever noticed how animals and their person often look alike in character traits or even physically? Our animals are here to wake us up to more, further, deeper feelings, experiences whatever you name it. They always make us better people, but only if we accept to learn from them and not simply try to break them down or control them despite what they are trying to show us in their own way. So sometimes it's quite challenging and some relationship with a pet or animal friend can take us out of our comfort zone before becoming smooth sailing. I believe that we have soul contracts with the animals that enter our lives. And the more I work with them and their people, the more I feel this is true. Now, think of a problem or issue you're facing with your animal friend. And consider this. What repetitive thoughts do you hold regarding your animals? Are there any issues, unwanted behaviors that your pet does or has? that you keep thinking about or beat the drum about? It can be something big or some petty man. What are you putting your energy and attention to when it comes to your animal? Because as whatever you put your energy to, it will grow. If your pet has any behavior or other issue that triggers you, it certainly is for a good reason. It's the perfect opportunity for you to become aware of a thought pattern you have that is not serving you. And they kind of push you to do something about it. To let it go, to heal it, overcome it. They are amazing at pushing our buttons, aren't they? Now, let's work with an example. Let's say that you're dealing with a behavior issue with your young male dog. is constantly barking and jumping at strangers while you're on a walk. And it's even worse when visitors come to your place. Your cute little pup turns into a monster whenever strangers are around. Nothing you do seems to help. And this behavior annoys you. Maybe you feel embarrassed, upset, worried, frustrated, or even totally hopeless regarding the behavior. It seems to be getting worse, and the more you're trying to figure out what to do, the worse it gets. You start dreading meeting other people on your walks, try to adapt your walking hours to make sure you'll meet as little dog walkers as possible. Well, you get the picture. So now you consider working with an animal trainer to solve the behavior, and maybe you already have. And yet it seems to work so much better with the trainer than with you. Why? The behavior in this example is a mechanism defense that is, a, is activated in your animal whenever a similar situation occurs. Your animal feels endangered or and that it needs to protect you from a, tr a threat. The meaning is obviously different for other behaviors. But what I want to point out that is 
first started for a reason that resonated within both of you. There was something that was already there in both of you, in yourself and in your pet, that created, that initiated that behavior. And the unwanted behavior keeps escalating as your dog is triggering something that is also active in you. So instead of calming the situation, you are in a way amplifying, encouraging the behavior. Of course, this is totally unconscious until you become aware of it. And this is not about making you feel guilty. No, not at all. That would be totally useless and guilt actually makes things even worse. But it's just to to show you and to help you understand the mirror mechanism. Your pet's unwanted behavior is like a red flag, asking you to pay attention to something active in you that isn't serving you. And once you become aware of this pattern and are able to break it, you will be able to help in turn your animal and correct the unwanted behavior. The key there is to find the root feeling, feelings, that this behavior or issue wakes up in you. How does it resonate? How do you feel when your animal is having this unpleasant behavior? Is it fear, shame, guilt, anger, frustration? Here are some other questions to ask yourself to help you find the cause. Do you feel often victimized, belittled or lacking respect? What about saying no and placing healthy boundaries? These are obviously only a few clues and the answer will be different for everyone. And of course it will be also different depending on the issue. So you can pause the video and take some time to think of the issue at hand and what feelings it triggers in you. Write them down. Now let's work on the root cause. What's the oldest memory in your personal history you have of this feeling being triggered? Maybe you will know straight away. And if you don't, let me show you an easy way to find out. You can pause the video after the instruction to do it at your own pace. So to find out the root cause or the oldest memory, I want you to find a comfortable place. You can sit down or lie down as you want. And take a deep breath and breathe out. Try to relax your body. You can take another deep breath in. Hold it and out. Now close your eyes and I want you to let the feeling or the first feeling, if there are several of them, come up briefly. The feeling triggered by your animal behavior, I want you to let it come up, to feel it in your body. And once you have it, without overthinking it, What's the first memory that come to mind? What's the first thing, even situation, person, you think of? Don't judge or question the answer. Just the first thing that comes to mind. Then open your eyes and write it down. If there were more than one feeling or emotion, repeat the same process. 
And then before you move on to the rest of the exercise, I want you to take another deep breath in. Hold it. Hold it. And breathe out. Now think of something you love about your animal. Something fun, funny, cute. Something he does or she does. And smile. Then take another deep breath in, exhale, and open your eyes. So now you've written the memory or the first event that comes in relation to that feeling. And now you start doing the release work. And I suggest you start with uh, working on yourself first. And for that, you can use any releasing technique you know. So it can be EFT tapping, any forgiveness, uh, forgiveness exercises, programming using the Silver Mind method, meditations or like quantum job meditations for more complex matter. Well, there are several exercises you can find and uh, they will help you heal these triggers in yourself. Once this is done, see how your animal behavior evolves over the next few days. Notice any small change. Notice how your own reaction to the behavior change. I bet you will be surprised. And after that, you can do the same energy release work on your pet, for your pet, using similar techniques. So. You're working on both hands, you and them, and your pet, your animal. You will both be healing and releasing memories. And again, notice how the situation evolves. But be patient, just let the work you've done sink in, just let the healing take place. The behavior can diminish, change, or even totally disappear. And if it doesn't stop completely, you can enhance the energy work by doing standard training work. Any training work will be then far more efficient than anything you've done before. Because the triggers being gone for both of you, it will be more like a relearning or a simply correction of a learned behavior. So this is it for today's Outdoors Witch episode and all the best of luck with your pet and animal friends. Let me know how it goes in the comments and thank you for sharing, giving us some dubs to this video and my previous ones and also subscribe to my channel if you want. And until next time, bye!